boxing is not a sport some of you warm to, but over the next three weeks you may hear a great deal about it. Because on April 1st, Joseph Parker, the New Zealand-born son of Samoan parents, meaning his fan base is passionately from both countries, will fight Anthony Joshua in what's called a world title unification fight. It's complex, as is often the case with boxing, but Parker holds the WBO title and Joshua holds the IBF and WBA titles, meaning the winner will have all three. Unification. Anthony Joshua, who's British, is overwhelmingly the favourite, so much so that The Guardian recently looked beyond this fight and wrote about who his next opponent will be, which is fairly pointed, really. But Joseph, but Joseph Parker, who outside the ring is frequently described as a gentle giant, is in Vegas training, training hard and training to win. So today we weren't doing any sparring. We're just doing a lot of pad work, uh, skill work, working on techniques. And I was doing a lot of pads with Kevin. My and, trainer. And, and when you say pad, what are you doing there? So are, are the pads, uh, obviously the pads are AJ, right? And so you are going to where you think his vulnerabilities are? Is that how it's working? Yeah, so uh, you know, Kevin holds the pads, instructs me on what we should be working on. And then from there we go you know, doing different moves, making angles. And Kevin's pretending like he's AJ, you know, throwing punches back at me. So it's, uh, it's pretty full on and pretty intense. And it's amazing that there's weeks and weeks and weeks of this. I mean, you just keep doing it, don't you? I think the most important thing for us and for boxing is repetition. And I think the more you to do it, and the more you practice it, the easier it becomes. And uh, it becomes second nature when you get into the ring. Yeah. And I guess fitness too, right? And resilience, the toughness. How do you keep mental control? Because anyone who knows you knows that you are a lovely, gentle man. So when someone is whacking you in the ring, how do you not get angry? So the, the most important thing of uh, working on my mental is, is uh, firstly having a great team around me. Also, I have a mental coach that I work with. So that's a bonus. But also the practice. You know, the, when we practice in the ring, keeping composed under pressure and keeping composed when the other person is trying to do what they want to when we practice it in the ring, it becomes, like I said, second nature. And then we, the more we practice it, the better we become at it. Have you seen those comments from Peter Fury? Uh, Peter Fury? I mean, Peter Fury writes you. He, he says you are a much bigger threat to AJ than the British bookmakers, for example, are saying. But he also says if you get stuck on the ropes, you're in trouble. And if you get overexcited and go in too hard, you're in trouble. So it's a hell of a balancing act, isn't it? It is. It is it's a balancing act. But like I said, you know, we... Uh, we're getting all these comments from all these other fighters and coaches and all that, but I think the, the most important thing for myself is to uh, trust in my coach, listen to his instruction, and like you said, you know, we can't be there to catch his punches, we can't be there, we can't be stable, and we have to be moving, we have to make angles, so the game, the game plan we have is the game plan we think is going to work. What about the occasion, Joseph, when, because there is going to be such a crowd, and they will be so noisy. How do you kind of set that aside? Now that that, that excites me because <laughs> you know I I I fought in front of 15, 20,000 people. This is eighty thousand people, and I'm excited because I love challenges. The challenges of fighting in his backyard. The challenges of fighting in front of eighty thousand people. He's just another fighter. There's just another ring, but there's going to be a lot of people. So I just treat it as another fight. But I mean, like I said. The, the occasion is going to be a big occasion, but that's how you deal with the pressure. Yeah. And in a way, I can't help feeling like there's more pressure on AJ himself. The bookmakers have him so overwhelmingly the favourite, it's as if he's fighting me, basically. And I, I just... <laughs> and I, just, I mean, is there a danger that he's going to be caught out? That I mean, the whole objective of your camp is to surprise him, right? Right from the first bell. Yeah, we want to surprise him. We want to come out firing. And the more we practice it in camp, the better we're going to do when fight time comes. But, you know, we are the underdog. Everyone's looking at it like it's an easy fight. He's going to come there and blast me out. But that's what's exciting because I'm going to give a big surprise. And I'm not going to say too much. I just, I'm just looking <laughs> forward to putting on the best show, putting on the best performance in my life. And it's going to be, you know, trust me, I, I really want this bad. Are you looking forward to it? Do you, do, do you feel trepidation or are you approaching it with great excitement? I mean, like I'll tell you this, I'm enjoying every moment of this journey. I'm enjoying the pain. I'm enjoying the, the good times, the happiness, the bad times. I'm enjoying everything. And I think uh, it's important to just to be a happy fighter and enjoy everything because you don't get to do this very often. 
No, you don't. And this is what you've dreamt of, right? This is what you're a boxer for, for exactly these opportunities. When are you leaving Vegas and heading across to, uh, to, to the UK, to Cardiff? We're leaving Vegas uh, uh, probably on the 16th, 17th of, of March, and we're going to be there two weeks before the fight just to get used to the, the cold weather, the time change, and just to acclimatise. Well, it's, uh, it's such an exciting opportunity for you, and you really seem ready for it and eager for it. So, you know, good luck, Joseph. We really wish you well. Thank you very much. There's a bit more training to do, but trust me, when I go there, I'm going to make New Zealand and Samoa proud. <laughs> will, there be new, will there be lots of Kiwis and Samoans in the crowd, do you think? There will be. I, listen, half of them is going to be my family. So it's <laughs> quite, there's, going to be, there's going to be a lot of them. Joseph Parker, say what you like about boxing, and many of you do. He is consistently a delightful man to deal with.